like Phil said, the, the, the play was extremely cinematic in structure. Um, to the extent of the opposite was true. It seemed like, how are we going to make this what seems like a screenplay on stage into a play? Like, like Bob had scenes with no dialogue that were like montages. You know, there was like a scene with me just screaming on a, over a uh, overpass in a highway and there was a subway scene, you know, the dialogue was, 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 was uh, efficient. You know, and um, um, and 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 uh, and so the opposite seemed true at that time. You know, so the point of it being an organic process um, was really true. You know, kind of. We were looking at the photos recently. You know, the, 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 they sent us the photos from the play for the uh, DVD, and it reminded me. It's like, oh yeah, the play ends on the on a boat on the lake. Is they had that amazing shot. Which is the designers did such an amazing job where the theater the, the stage was transformed into a lake, and we're on a boat on the lake, and they had this boat and had little wheels on it and <laughs> and, and like and like for the first three performances, we kept running into the wall <laughs> Do you remember that? like i I always had a, like a nervous breakdown because the first three performances I kept the boat would crash into the wall and um and that but that's the thing about that's also I think that what's interesting I know I, I don't want to get up but I think about it a lot because we all work in the theater a lot and the film is that actually in theater it's less stagnant in a way because in the theater I can, you can put somebody on a stage and not do anything and say they're anywhere. You know the person can just stand on the lip of the stage and go I'm in Thailand <laughs> and they're in Thailand. <laughs> you know, and, and, and it's like, and, you're, you're, and you don't even question it. You just go there in Thailand and you keep listening to them, you know, and you wait for what Thailand's going to be like, you know. And, and I think that that's something that's great about the theater, that actually, uh, that film is a bit constricted with in a way, because what's in that frame is so literal, you know. And I learned a lot about that in making this and editing it, you know. In theater, you can kind of just, you know, it's raining, you know. Training, you know. <laughs> I don't think we ever mentioned opening it up or anything when yeah. we were working on it. John, Phil, and I would meet in the morning and talk about the the scenes as Phil would like come to terms and think out loud sometimes about how he was getting the terms of seeing it visually, and we'd talk about the scenes, and then um, I'd try and write to that. And then we'd get together again and we'd reread like several scenes or something as the draft emerged. So I don't think we thought about opening up. We thought about maybe what cool scenes we could have, <laughs> you know, things like that. And uh, I agree. I, I, I just now thought of something that's a little pretentious, but I remember reading that, that about Fassbender saying he does his plays like movies and his movies like plays. <laughs> sort of a quote of his. And um, and I just and I was thinking of all the the like Phil a lot of uh, films that came from plays and also Renoir said if if two frames move they're a movie. <laughs> And things like that, but this is only after the fact. We didn't, we weren't, never thought defensively or anything. It was that Phil's main emphasis is like, how can we remain true to the feelings of the characters? How can we? That was it. It wasn't about anything else. And how how can we build a scene so that there, there's enough time for things to to occur between the characters without concerning ourselves with uh, trying to be fancy, I guess, you know. And another thing, though, I want to give credit to Phil with was like when we were in the rewriting stage, it was just like, how could I nurse a little bit more the pool scene about the visualization? Because he had an idea of how he wanted to take the montages, you know, just at the early stages that way. And so I, I was able in, you know, the pool scene to do that underwater open your eyes and all that and practice visualizing so that then he could carry you know then it it's kind of worked for him then to to do the visualizations that he wanted to do and so that was a lot of things a lot of things happen like that out of 
the three of us discussing the script and then trying to serve the the great thing that I thing that I liked and I I, I think would be is always would be my job is to say if you're fortunate enough to work with the director is to try and serve what he wants to be doing with it in a way and I felt really happy about just about just doing that you know so it was a real pleasure and um, I, I, don't, I you know maybe it's a rare occasion and, and I hope but I hope it happens again that way you know that,